praise God, praise God. I want to welcome all my brothers and sisters around the globe. I want to welcome especially on Prayer TV. Uh, and I believe that God is going to uh, bless you today. And uh, today in the morning, United States and uh, evening uh, in, in Asia, uh, India, Nepal, Bangladesh, Pakistan and uh, uh, Europe. And uh, right away, uh, we just uh, welcome my uh, brother, one and only my brother, all the way from Pastor Dr. Uh, Henry uh, C., uh, all the way from uh, London, London in the house, uh, UK. Uh, so we just uh, introduce you. Uh, he just uh, from Africa, but uh, uh, currently just uh, settled in uh, uh, London and uh, uh, I'm just happy to have him today and I want to welcome him uh, so I just want to welcome my brother all the way from London praise God praise God hallelujah man of God doctor uh, uh, some technical issues uh, therefore we are here finally and i just want to welcome my brother dr henry all the way from uk london praise the lord man of god your hallelujah God. how are you and tell us about you and we are excited to have you man of god all right thank all you right. very thank much you pastor daniel. daniel and uh, uh, man of god today people just watching you from uh, united states canada mm -hmm. uh, europe and uh, also uh, pakistan india nepal bangladesh and i believe that in uk london yes a man of god uh, tell us about you and your your short introduction uh, i i was uh, just uh, introduce you but uh, um, clearly you can just uh, share with yeah. us um, tell us about your ministry and family yes sir Yes, 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 Pastor Daniel. Daniel. Thank, you Thank you very much, much for, for, for having me. For having I, I, I feel it's an honor, an honor you know, to, to have a great man of God like you like to you invite me onto your, your platform. Yeah, so yeah, as you so as you mentioned, I, mentioned um, I was born in Nigeria, Nigeria. but the Lord sent me to the United Kingdom, Kingdom as what I call a reverse missionary, right? I I heard a call of God to come serve him in Britain, and I answer the call, and the rest is history. So we are doing marvelous work up and down the country here, bringing the word of God, and sharing the word of healing and salvation. And God is touching people multiculturally here in the UK. Thank you. Yes, praise God. So, uh, man of God, I believe that uh, God just used you in in uh, UK, and uh, you just uh, are doing wonderful thing. And uh, I heard about your book, and um, really, I just want to reveal your book uh, right away during this uh, show uh, because uh, I was blessed to have your book. And uh, tell us about your book, and uh, I I just want to start. Uh, 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 everything but uh, before doing anything i just want to ask you about your book yeah yes yes yeah, um yeah. you mean my current, current book, book the latest, the latest one. one um i have five, I have books. five books and if you and search me out on yeah, amazon, amazon you know you could see all, see all my publications, publications. And, um, and the lord, the lord placed, placed on my heart on my strongly, strongly from what happened, what happened all through the COVID pandemic to share something in the lines of we taking your safe space, right? The COVID invaded our space and people lost their confidence. So I was just meditating, you know, what can I share with others? How I have managed to navigate the way and reclaim what, as it were, I lost. So that's why I came up with the book we take yourselves place. So I'll be sharing um, along the line in this show uh, one or two things from the book. It's just about reclaiming your your sanity. You know, you know, it's about overcoming fear and anxiety. And of course, today, with what is happening currently, 
there is fear in the land. Praise God. Yeah. So, My brother, yeah. tell us about your story, your life story, your testimony. I believe that people uh, will be blessed uh, through your uh, testimony. Uh, I believe that. Yes, sir. Yeah. I don't yeah. know how long you've got. <laughs> <laughs> my no story not a big deal you can just share freely. yeah my 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 story is you know is, is a unique one well everyone has got their story right we all have got our different experience with the lord and the lord called me uh while i was still in nigeria and I, you know i became a born again child of god and i became very zealous with christ and i, I and i went forward and founded a group um, in those days we called them action brothers <laughs> because of what we did it was actually people that gave us the name action brothers because of what our zeal you know we're on fire for christ in the southeast of, of nigeria blessing the trail with the gospel village to village you know city to city sharing the word of god and anyway, along the line, I left my accounting profession and now uh, answer the call of God as a full-time uh, minister of the gospel. And this, you know, did not did not come without its own challenges, right? I, I had challenges left, right, and center, you know, from people who didn't quite understand what we were doing in the church we were in at that time you know coming up coming with the zeal of the lord on fire for christ many people did not embrace the change you know one thing that people fear the dread most people dread change change praise 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 yeah so change is what most people dread but that is what we know that is constant <laughs> yeah <laughs> right so, man of God, uh, you know that uh, we have very short time uh, for yep. the show, yep. but uh, we need to understand what God is going to do uh, right away. Uh, and I believe that uh, people just uh, watching you from different uh, devices and IP networks, I believe that uh, people will be blessed and uh, who watching right away, uh, they uh, are blessed and to have you. But uh, uh, brother, what would you like to say uh, about Africa current situation? Because um, I think uh, after COVID uh, situation is not good, but uh, tell us about the current uh, situations uh, about Africa, uh, Nigeria, your, your church and your family and your ministry there. Yeah. Yes, yes. yes well, yes. Um, you uh, cannot you forget your roots. Your and i am praying for africa um, obviously praying for nigeria um, as they prepare for their elections um coming up sometime this month um, there is anxiety there is insecurity and christian leaders have been praying i have been praying uh, my children have been praying that the lord will, will have his way right so we want the truth to stand and we want that the lord to move uh, so what i want is that the lord will remember the people the common people in the land and that he will do his perfect will so that's what i've been praying for and also i know in the midst of all these things there is hope as i pray i believe there is hope and the lord we will move in and we'll select the right person, you know, for, for their, the various presidential and other, other levels of governance. And I believe the prayers of the saints will prevail. Yeah. So even in the church, it, it, you know, it gives me concern sometimes what people do and how people run off to extremes uh, with, with strange doctrines and, and practices. But I also believe that the word of God uh, will reign supreme. 
you know. So I, I urge everyone listening to me uh, to pray for, for Nigeria at this time as they prepare for their elections. Pray against insecurity in the land and pray against uh, against hunger, you know, pray against the wickedness uh, that evil will not thrive in, in that nation and indeed all the nations of the world. Yeah, praise God, praise God. Amen. Uh, brother, because uh, uh, right away we have dif uh, difficult uh, situation situations around the globe and we just um, uh, face uh, persecution you know that mm. and uh, we just uh, persecuted uh, but uh, uh, we need to understand God is still with us Amen. and God just uh, uh, around us and he just uh, protect us and protect our families uh, so right away we need prayers we so, need prayers uh, I, I just uh, bless uh, Nigeria, uh, beautiful nation, beautiful people, friendly people, but uh, right away situations are not good. So yeah. uh, we yeah. just understand. Uh, yeah. But we need to change uh, through prayers. We need to change through prayers. Imagine prayer, God, prayer right changes right things. Yeah. Prayer changes Prayer things. Changes you know, things. can can I just say, um, John Wesley, um, you know, who I am a student of John Wesley, anytime he says God does nothing except in answer to prayer. God does nothing except in answer to prayer. We need to pray. It's our job to pray, and heaven will answer. Amen. 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 Uh, brother, right away. Uh, we have time to share the word of God and uh, tell us about uh, uh, your topic and uh, what would you like to share with us? Yes. Sir. Yeah, I, I think um, thinking about the subjects of fear and insecurity and anxiety in the land, and um, just like we've been sharing about what is happening in Nigeria and obviously in Africa and across the world today. So I was just touched in my heart to talk about overcoming fear. Fear, overcoming fear. Yes, you know, brother, you, you can know. just keep uh, sharing the word of God. I'm yes. here yes. to listen to you and people also yeah. here to listen yeah. to you yes sir. yes like like, like i was saying um you know all that we've been sharing um around fear and anxiety and insecurity in the land in africa uh with what is happening in ukraine and obviously a few days ago with the earthquake in turkey and and in, in some parts of syria I, I was just thinking about how can we overcome fear well i know that fear is natural it is quite natural to be afraid and and we've heard it over and over uh, just during covid that it's okay not to be okay right i think we we all need a degree a little degree of fear in us to keep us in check all right yeah it could be good you know because it gives you caution in that way but when fear imprisons someone and paralyzes them, then that is when it becomes a problem. And that is when the Bible calls it a spirit. And you remember in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, it says, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So Fear could be a spirit when it possesses and paralyzes and, and, you know, put someone at a spot. It could be a spirit. So that is when we need to do something radical about our fears. We need to rise up with power and speak against the spirit of fear and speak against all the works of darkness. That is when we need to use the word of God to reclaim our safe space and to tear down the paths of darkness. I'll read a scripture for you. And you remember what happened with the 
the, the four lepers in 2 Kings, 2 Kings chapter 7. I, I'd like you to read from verse 3 to verse 4. He says, now there were four leprous men at the entrance of the gates. And they said to one another, why are we sitting here until we die? They were sitting in a place because they have been incapacitated by their condition. And this, he went on in verse 4. He says, if we say we will enter the city, the famine is in the city and we shall die. And if we sit here, we die also. And they made a decision and they said, now, therefore, come, let us surrender to the army of the Syrians. If they keep us alive, we shall die. If they kill us, we shall also die. You know, so, so they, they took a radical change, a radical decision, a radical turn and conquered their fears. So let me say this before we go on. God is a God of plan. He's a God of objectivity. He's a God of purpose, right? God does not just run around without a plan. And, and I have always you know, told people that a walk of faith is not a walk of uncertainty. Faith is not reckless impulsiveness. No, faith is being able to act on the word of God. Being able to understand what God says about a situation and move with what God has said. That is faith. And that's why I said God is a God of plan. He's a God of objectivity. You remember in, in Jeremiah 29, 11, he says, I know the plans I have for you. God is a God of plan. I know the plans I have for you. Plans to give you a future and a hope. And so God always makes his plan from his word. And the plan is that we will be above only. The plan is that whatever we bind on earth is shall be bound in heaven. The plan is that we are not to be bound by the spirit of fear. And people have all sorts of fear today. You know, like I mentioned, fear with what is happening in Ukraine at the moment, which has really shattered everything that we've known, uh, brought insecurity and brought inflection, of course, and cost of living crisis, especially here in Europe. And of course, the, the earthquake, like I, I mentioned, that happened in Turkey and Syria. And of course, the after effects of the COVID pandemic, the fear everywhere. There is fear of the future. I must tell you, you know, when I minister to people here in England and I talk to people in my church and everyone in my team, there is fear about the future. People are not, are not sure of what is going to happen, you know, in the future. But we know, we know who holds the future. There is also fear of growing old. I don't know. It, it, is, it is said in here in England uh, that... <clears throat> Life expectancy is, is improving and people are growing older, people are living longer. And so when I speak to people, some elderly folk in my church, there is fear of growing old. You know, what will happen when I get lonely? And God forbid when someone has dementia or anything, we don't pray for such. But what will happen when these things, you know, happen? There is fear everywhere. But I'd like to propose one or two things, you know, I, I would like us to do. Like I said, number one, God is a God of plan. And, and I've mentioned in Jeremiah 29, 11, he said, I know the plan I have for you. Number two, I'd like to propose to you, faith requires sacrifice. Say it again. Faith requires sacrifice. Yeah. The lepers in 2 Kings 7 they did not achieve what they achieved until they were able to sacrifice where they were and decided to move on from where they were to where they were supposed to be. So sacrifice, boldness, risks, we need to take risks if we must achieve reclaiming our safe space and you know, bringing back all that the enemy has stolen from us. And number three, I want you to know that you shouldn't let fear to cripple your past and control you. 
because when he cripples your past and presence, he goes on to cripple your future. You need to break free from every past failure and every past you know, fear and move on in life. Do you remember the story of the sick woman, uh, I think in Mark chapter 5? Yes, in Mark chapter 5, exactly in verse 23, going down to verse 34. She had been sick for 12 solid years. You know, she was bound and she was in one place until she made a decision, all right? She pushed and pushed and decided to overcome, you know, the uh, stigma from the crowd and moved on to touch the hem of the ham garment of Jesus Christ, all right? He, she pushed forward, overcame the past and moved on in life. Don't let your past to cripple your future. And number four, I'd like you to know that your past will limit you and even try to define your present. But don't let your future be damaged by fear. All right? And listen, listen, in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, I, I was just praying this morning and this scripture popped on in my, in, in my mind. In 1 Corinthians chapter 10, you know, the Bible said, no temptation has taken you except that is common to mankind. And so whatever you're going through now, listening to me all over the globe, wherever you are in Africa, in Asia, here in the UK, you know, with what is happening, cost of living crisis, the energy bills. I received my energy bill the other day and it was double of what I was I was. I was, I was paying, everything is double. You know, when you go to the grocery shop, there, there is, you know, this could, these things could cripple you. But listen to me, no temptation happens to you except that which is common to man, all right? People all over the globe are, are going through issues. So you must make up your mind that I will not be put at a spot by the enemy. I will not be put at a spot by sickness. I will not be put at a spot by fear. I will arise and I will go to my future and grab all that the Lord has in store for me. And let me share this finally. You will become a better person when you choose to act on the word of God, you choose to act on the word of God, you will become a better person. I think in Luke chapter 5, right? You remember in Luke chapter 5, in verse 5, and, you know, when uh, the, 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 the disciples went fishing and, and they were toiling all night and they did not receive anything and until Jesus appeared and asked them to launch further a little bit. And what did, what did Peter say? Lord, we've toyed all around and we've toyed all night and nothing happened. But at thy word, at thy word. I will let down my nets at thy word. So when we decide to act on the word of God, breakthrough happens. Praise God. Breakthrough happens. So decide to act on the word of God. And, you know, in Luke chapter 17, in uh, verse 14, also we read about also another uh, group of lepers, this time 10 lepers. They did not receive their healing until they acted on the word of the Lord. The word of God told them, go, show yourself to the priest and the high priest. And they did not receive their healing until they acted on the word of God. I just want to read something for you now. In Psalm 20 verse 7, listen to this. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. People trust in several things, but when you put your trust on the word of God, you will be able to go places for the Lord. Let me say this as, as I close. Life keeps moving. Say with me, life keeps moving. Whether you want it or not, life keeps moving. So don't be crippled at a spot. You got to move when life moves, right? And as you move with the word of God, you will see breakthrough happening. And I prophesy to anyone who is quite confused right now, not knowing what to do, I prophesy to you that your situation is about to change. 
I prophesy to that situation right now. Whatever has been crippling you, whatever has been making you, you know, to weep overnight, the word of God is coming to you where you are now. In the name of Jesus Christ, rise and be healed. Be healed of all infirmities. In the name of Jesus, rise up. Break free from every entanglement of the enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ, listen to me. What the enemy meant for evil, the Lord is going to use it for your breakthrough. The Lord has brought you to this situation because of what he's about to do in the next phase of your life. Believe me, believe me, where you are right now, you feel confused. You know, you feel you don't know what is going to happen the next minute. Listen to me. God knew about it and he knows about it. He's about to change it. He's about to use your situation, your circumstance. He's about to use them to bring you testimonies. He's about to use you as a wonder to people around you. He's about to use you as a wonder to the world. In the name of Jesus, believe the word of God and so shall you prosper. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. The word of God is powerful. Amen. Amen. Man of God, I feel the anointing in the heart. I feel yeah, the anointing. Yeah, wonderful man of God. I just feel in my spirit really powerful word today. Yeah. You just released from your mouth. Hazarata. Hazara, Amen. Shazara. Amen. Brother, uh, please, uh, right now we have time to pray for people, sick people. Yeah. And you uh, just leave prayer, and uh, I'm just uh, with you. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. yes, yes, yes. I feel the anointing. I feel the anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray into situations right now. Oh yes, Lord. We pray against every bondage right now. In the name of Jesus. I feel in my spirit, there is someone listening to me, your marriage is going through some turbulent time. You are even contemplating breaking up. And this is all about fear, fear of the unknown, uncertainty. I just want to release the word of God to you. Hold on. There is a miracle coming your way. I speak healing right now. Oh. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Yes. I speak healing to that relationship. In the name of Jesus Christ. That someone watching me right now, you cannot use your leg very well. I believe in the God of healing. And I believe healing is coming to you wherever you are right now. And you are going to send your testimony to Pastor Daniel. In the, in the name of Jesus, of Jesus. Rise, yes. rise up and walk. In the oh. name of Jesus, yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, I was I was just I was just praying the other day here in the UK, invited in a church, and a lady came up with you know blind, um, um, deafness in one in one ear, and I believe God and and release the part of God, and she was totally healed and she could. She could hear with, with those ears. In the name of Jesus, I decree healing for anyone that is expecting, believing God right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Man of God, I'm led to pray for financial situations of people now. You know, that there are business people listening to us now. Um, they, they are kind of asking God for breakthrough financially. Uh, we pray right now for finances. Open heavens right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever you lay your hands to do, the Lord shall prosper. So the Bible says, whatever you lay your hands to do. So you have to do something for the Lord to bless you. You have to do something for the Lord to prosper you. And so we pray for financial miracle right now. It's, it's happened to me before. I've seen the Lord send miracles of finances before. In my ministry and in my personal life, I've seen it happen, right? God is able to open up avenues you never expected or probably some contract you did in time past, you've forgotten, 
all of a sudden the Lord will tell them to ring you and, and you know and tell you oh I, I forgot I needed to pay you uh, this contract you 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 did for me 10 years ago and I pray for financial miracles now in the name of Jesus financial doors open financial doors open people that will finance the gospel in my generation in the name of Jesus Christ I pray right now that heavens will open lord we pray also man of god we pray for those in turkey and syria uh, families you know that have been affected by this by this uh, earthquake lord we pray for them lord we pray for their government we pray oh lord that you help even the international aid coming around here and there gracious lord we pray for that nation turkey we pray for some parts of syria we pray you be with them at this time in the mighty name of jesus christ i pray for nigeria because i was born in nigeria i pray for nigeria right now as they go through their uh, political electioneering lord i pray that you will move in the name of jesus and your perfect will will be done in that country in the mighty name of jesus christ lord we pray for the united kingdom at this time man of god last year the lord gave me a word that he is bringing revival in england and i heard it i heard it clearly the lord said to me i am bringing revival like the days of smith wigglesworth smith wigglesworth i heard it i heard it happening and i said lord i want to be used as your instrument as one of the people that you will yes. use here in England yes, to bring and the lord has been doing my thing our ministry and in all the people that we will minister to lord we pray for revival in the name of jesus christ the church of jesus christ is passing through temptation at this time lord we ask for revival that you will raise men and women genuine men and women on prayer and on fire for god in the name of jesus christ and lord we pray for pakistan we pray for asia we pray for india we pray for brazil we pray for united states i was i was ministering in the u.s when the hurricane came and my myself and my friend we had to take cover because of what is happening i pray right now for people affected by uh, environmental hazards and natural disasters all across the world in the name of jesus protection and, and man of god we pray for missionaries now those who are serving the lord all across the globe wherever they are we pray for protection we pray that the lord will provide for them we pray that the lord will use them as his vessels vessels of honor in the name of jesus christ thank you lord thank you lord I, I, the lord the lord is laying in my heart there is someone listening to us in that family there is a child that is going through some mental health issues a little child i believe a girl going through some mental health issues right now i speak against that evil spirit in the name of jesus christ yes I come against you, you foul devil. Get out in Jesus' name. I pray for deliverance, total deliverance. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we give you praise. I pray for politicians. Perhaps there, are, there is a politician listening to us now. I pray the Lord we use you as his agent of change in your nation wherever you are that your heart desires will be achieved by the lord thank you lord thank you lord man of god i'm led for us to pray against a disaster aeroplane crash i don't know where but in the mighty name of jesus we pray against crash in the air maybe a flight going from asia to somewhere i don't know in the name of jesus we pray against these things and we address every demonic oppression now 
in the yeah. mighty name of Jesus Christ. By the authority of heaven. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 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 Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Lord, I believe your word. And I address every spirit of fear. Anyone that is listening to us now that has been crippled, paralyzed by fear, fear of the future, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, be loose now, be set loose. And I want you to act on the word of God. Whose reports will you believe? You will believe the report of the Lord. The Lord says you are fearfully and wonderfully made. He is your creator. He has made you in his image. Rise and recover what the enemy has stolen from you. All the years that the devil has stolen from you. Rise, recover them in the name of Jesus Christ. You are going to recover them tenfold. Whatever you have lost, listen to me, someone listening to us now, whatever you have lost, I hear the Lord saying he is giving it back to you tenfold. Receive it now. Act on the word of God and receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Man of God, do you receive anything from the Lord? Praise God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just uh, uh, feel in my spirit, God, just show uh, a great revival for, for Indonesia. I just Amen. feel in my spirit and uh, uh, Indonesia is going to change because right away, uh, you know, that is a, some, some uh, sexual attacks uh, in many uh, countries. I just see in my spirit people will be uh, destroyed and uh, but god of, of uh, miracles will heal them and uh, restore them yeah amen 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 we yeah. pray for indonesia and we ask lord that your word will be fulfilled in that land in the name of jesus christ and we pray oh lord that you will raise righteous servants vessels for you in the mighty name of jesus christ thank you lord amen 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 so man of god uh thank you very much for your time you just share with us a wonderful uh word and a really amazing time to have you uh you. so before leaving i just want to ask you uh so what would you like to say last words and encouragement words yes sir Go ahead. yeah yeah, I just want to encourage everyone, hold on to the Word of God. All right? Hold on to the Word of God. You know, the Word of God is so powerful. All right? I mean, there is, there is nothing greater than, than, than the Word of God. Hold on to, to the Word of God. I, I, was, I was praying sometime in my life, and I was kind of... You know, passing through a lot of a lot of things at the same time. I don't know if you have felt that feeling that everything is happening at the same time. And and I heard the word of God to me and said, "You shall run with men on horses, and you will not grow weary." All right. So hold on to the word of God. Amen. The word of God is man of God for your time. Have a blessing. Mm -hmm. Thank you very Thank much. You very much. God, bless you. God bless you. 